Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and in this video I'm going to show you guys some new makeup product that I got. So if you're interested in that, definitely keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Alright, so the main star of this video is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Foundation that I got. It's my first time trying a foundation from this brand and I got it in the shade 10C Espresso. I am a little skeptical though because this does not look like my shade. Online it didn't look so dark, like it looked warm but I thought it was just online being online if you get what i mean i thought it was going to be a bit cooler i also like looked on youtube for like someone with my shade and they weren't that dark you know so when it arrived and i opened the box i was a little bit shocked but i'm gonna try and make it work i got some other things too but those are mainly just restocks like this perfect finish hd powder from elf and i also have the hydrating camo concealer from elf as well in the shade deep chestnut uh, some new things that i did get is this elf powder brush and uh the brow glue from nyx which looks like this step one you always want to moisturize those lips or not i mean it's your choice i always combine these two primers i use the elf power grip primer and the fenty beauty instant retouch primer I start off with the elf one Alright, so I'm just gonna open this up. Normally, I always use the um, Halo Glow Foundation from e.l.f. Like, I use this for everything. I use this for no makeup makeup. I use this for a full glam and then I just add some powder like I use it for everything but I also wanted like a powder separately for those like full glam and like soft glam looks and that is why I wanted to try this foundation out just to, like shake it first wow okay let's try and blend it out I'm going to take a beauty blender and spritz it with this setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Air Purge Flawless Setting Spray.
I'm gonna show you the difference actually between this one and this is the Halo Glow foundation from e.l.f. that I use like on the daily. Let's see the difference. I don't feel like it's horrible though. Like it's darker, yes, but it's not like horrible. Let's continue. I'm gonna use the Hydrating Camo Concealer from e.l.f. that I got in the shade Deep Chestnut. Bring this up. I love the e.l.f. concealers. Like, I've had two of them already. These. But they're both, like, they're both finished. This one was in the shade Tan Neutral. I would use this for, like, a brighter under eye. And this one was in the shade Deep Olive. They're both different shades than the one I got now. But this one is a more warmer shade. These ones weren't necessarily too light. But... Yeah, I just wanted something warmer. Something that I started doing recently is I take my beauty blender that I use to blend my concealer with. I spritz it with some setting spray and then I take my baking powder like so. I spritz my face. With the powder, I'm going to blend out my concealer. Then I'm going to go in with the same concealer but then in the shade tan neutral for a brighter under eye or whatever is left. And then for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Buddy Bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed. What I like to do to get the most pigment out of the Buddy Bronzer is I like to spray my brush and spray inside of the product. Thank you. 
I'm gonna apply some more because I do like to look bronzed. And then I'm going to take the Inlet Freedom Style HD Sculpting Powder. It's supposed to be a sculpting powder, but it was way too light for me to be a sculpting powder, so I just use it as a face powder. I'm going to take that same beauty blender I used to blend in the foundation, tap it in there. And then I'm going to take the same baking powder that I used before. I take my beauty blender. I wipe it off against my hand. I'm going to take my Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark. That same brush that I applied the body bronzer with. And then for blush, I am going to take my Magnetic Blush from Lethal Cosmetics in the shade Echinopsis. And then I'm going to take this Beauty Blender with a flat side. And this is very pigmented, so I start off with just a little bit. And I put it on the high ends of my cheekbone. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with this orange blush that I got out of the Ultraviolet palette. I think it's from Makeup Revolution, I'm not sure. And I'm going to take this tapered blush brush. 
I'm gonna take that orange shade and apply that right on top. And then I'm going to take the NYX brow glue that I bought for the first time as well to just comb out my brows. It comes in different shades by the way, I got it in the shade black, but there's also brown and other shades, there's also clear. I realized that I forgot my mascara at home, but I'm gonna take this mascara from Bobby, not Bobby, from Bobby Brown, or whatever is left of it. I just don't like the feeling of lashes on my eyes. And I do want to get like my lashes done to get like that very minimalistic look. But I'm like scared to death that my eyeballs are gonna fall out by like an infection or something. So I'm just gonna keep it at mascara for now. I'm gonna take the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury that I've been using the whole video. I'm just lightly gonna spritz my face. And maybe it's a great thing to wait to spritz your face first and then do your mascara, but common sense wasn't common sensing. Let that dry. And then I'm going to take this brush that I bought. It's a powder brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics as well. And I'm going to take the Perfect Finish HD Powder. It's a new one. I've been using this all the time. But I just restocked because the old one was finished. It looks like this. It's great to finish your makeup. And I'm just gonna take a bit of that. I'm gonna take the brushes that I used for bronzer and blush to bring a bit of that color back. And then for lips, I'm going to go in with a dark brown lip liner. You can use anything. I just use, sometimes I even use like eyebrow pencils. This is an eyebrow pencil that I use. It's a dark brown eyebrow, I, uh, it's a dark brown eyebrow pencil that I use for my lips and it works equally as fine, in my opinion. And then I'm going to go in with the Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX in the shade Can. 
and I'm just going to tap that onto my lips. Like so, not a lot. And then I'm going to go over that with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeleine. And that is it. That's the final look. So this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because it is a great source of motivation for me to make more videos for you guys. And with that being said, I hope I'll see you guys next time.